Bowman here from BW1.com. We're going to do a walkthrough on how to update your Motorola Droid Racer HD, HD Max, or the Razer M to Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. So the Jelly Bean update just recently came out for the Razer HD and Razer HD Max, and the actual update came out for the Razer M a few weeks earlier before that. It's really simple to do. So if you haven't got the notification yet for the update, you can go ahead over to settings and you want to scroll down. As you can see that there, go to about phone, hit system update. You see that update is ready. I actually already downloaded this update. I did it over Wi-Fi because it was a pretty um, decent sized update. So I suggest doing this over Wi-Fi instead of 4G LTE because that data is going to count against your meter data if you have a meter data plan. If you have unlimited data, you can choose either to do it over 4G or do it, do it over Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi connection is obviously going to be faster. And we're just going to go ahead and hit install now just as, finish, as, just as soon as the update is finished. You want to make sure you have a full battery charged up and such. And always before doing any type of system update back up your, your content and things like that just beforehand it shouldn't affect anything but just in case back up all your contacts photos pictures things like that stuff that you really don't want to lose make sure you back it up before doing any type of system update here and we're going to go ahead and hit install now it's going to power off the phone and it should probably power off and bring up that uh, android little robot that they usually have showing that it's updating Okay, once you see your phone rebooting here, you're going to get the nice little Android robot here with the little cube sort of rotating inside of it. You see the little uh, uh, status um, meter going up there, letting you know that the update is installing as it goes along here. It doesn't really give you too much more information other than that, but at least you know when you're at this screen, you are going through the update process. And once it finishes, it's going to reboot and it should reboot back into the operating system fully updated. Okay, as you can see here, we did re reboot and it's um, installed. Now Android is upgrading, basically optimizing all the applications and stuff for the new uh, recent upgrade to Jelly Bean here. So we'll just let it do that and it should be done with the update right after that finishes. Okay, that update finished there. It's going to take you anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes, like I said, to do that update. First thing you notice already here, the lock screen is a little bit different here with where the clock was on this side. Now it's moved over to here. So it looks like you still have the same uh, quick access icons as you did before. And, you, and we can just unlock it there. Software update was successful. Hit OK. Examine how to use Google now. Oh, so that's pretty cool. It gives you what's new. Show show improvements on the vacations. Oh, that's pretty cool. That lets you kind of gives you that little pop up there. Pretty nice. Go ahead and hit done for now on this though. The last. There we go. Head back into here. So this is Android uh, 4.1 Jelly Bean. We'll go ahead and confirm that. Go down here. Um, see right there, 4.1.1, and Fantio Jelly Bean right there. We can flick Jelly Beans away and such. <laughs> As you can see there, but let's go ahead and get through and just kind of look through some of the new things that are here. So we swipe down, you obviously notice the notification um, section is uh, has been upgraded. You could see the uh, the different clock and date up there. You know when you get new notifications that you know it, depending on the application you can do you can see a little bit more with it. It'll be a little bit more expansive, obviously up there. Emails as well too with the two fingers sort of you can slide up and down. Don't have a notification to show you that yet, but that's with an email you can slide down and see just a little bit more and slide it back up to hide it all the way if you want to. And you can still swipe away and such. Let's see what we have here. Same similar application as you normally see inside of here. Nothing really updated in terms of that. Um, it's a little bit faster, as, as you can tell. We can, add, we can add some pages here. Look, I've added a couple more pages here. Add an Amazon page here. And you can see just swiping left to right. You can see it's a little bit smoother, a little bit faster, all, all with that project butter, sort of trying to make Android a little bit smoother to use. Let's take a look here at the notification section. Um, a quick access section actually here. Doesn't look like they changed much here. Turn the GPS back on. Uh, not too much has changed there, it seems. All right, but cosmetically seems things that are pretty much uh, they were they, they were before. Tick meshing looks pretty much the same as before. Um, really, it, it, you do get the advantage, like I said, of the, the new notification section. It's pretty much one of the bigger advantages with it and Google Now, of course. Let's see if we can how we access that. We should be able to swipe up like that. And there we have Google Now. I might access to set it up. Yeah, use my location. That's fine. All right, so if you want to use Google Now, we can Let's see if we can tap on that. What is the weather right now? It's 44 degrees and overcast in Boston. All yeah, right, there you go. That's a cool thing about Google. Now you guys used it before, the little cards that pop up with a little pertinent information for you and such. Get web results, things like that. All right, hit back this way here. 
So that's pretty much it for the update. You know, it, the nice thing is that when in, when they came out with Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich, they pretty much set themselves a good base and kind of a subsequent update after that are, 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 are more or less minor tweaks and enhancements. Not saying that Jelly Bean is a minor um, tweak at all, but it definitely um, definitely you get a lot of the features that you pretty much had before, and you keep just enhancing on top of those features relatively um, simply by doing that update there. You can see pretty much a cool stock experience. See if they change anything with the camera. Not too much. Looks like the camera is just about the same before, but uh, that's pretty much how to upgrade your uh, Droid Razer HD or Razer uh, HD Max or Razer M to Android uh, 4.1 Jelly Bean and some of the things that you'll get here. Like I said, the biggest thing is the notification section change out of anything else, and you should see some battery life improvements hopefully as well too, and the Project Butter, which is pretty much making things a little bit smoother in animations and stuff like that. You can see things look a little bit quicker than you did before. All right, there. So, if you guys get the idea, so if you have one of these devices, Droid Razer HD, Razer HD Max, Razer M, go ahead and grab that update. Hopefully, it's uh, sig signaled for you to get it. If not, you just have to wait a little bit, a little while, and it'll eventually get to you. And you can see, give, give yourself about 10 15 minutes of time, update it, updates pretty smoothly, and you pretty much can. Um, get, the, get the advantages of Google Now, the new notification section, and Project Butter, main three things there. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com, reminding you to subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Twitter, become a fan of our Facebook fan page, also check us out on our all our other social networks, link to that is in the description, and our main website at BW1.com. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.